First, I want you to watch this clip on who is the president listening to. He's got to be listening to his cabinet advisors, right? Listen to this clip from NBC News. You report that, in fact, there were half a dozen cabinet members who had not heard from the president personally, had not gotten a phone call from the president or had a, an opportunity to be one-on-one -on -one with him in the first two years. The source for, for that particular um, uh, piece of reporting that I mentioned, Andrea, is someone who's a very senior Democrat in, in Washington. He was shocked to hear that uh, a number of them, he said a half a dozen, uh, had never had a single phone call from the president in the course of the first two years up until that point. Um, that is a pretty dramatic thing because it tells you not only the president wasn't listening to people outside the administration, he wasn't even listening to senior members of the administration. He was really only listening to a very small group of people. Who is that small group of people? You have it? You have it? The president hasn't even reached out to call six members of his own cabinet in the first two years of his term. Not low level advisors like, you know, I'm not, oh, Van Jones, not listening to Van Jones. No, no, no. These are cabinet members. So who is he taking advice from? Who is he listening to? Well, let me show you Richard Trumka from the AFL CIO. One of the guys who was helped organizing and leading the protest in Egypt and supporting solidarity, and now the guy leading the protests in Wisconsin. Watch. How often does the White House, do you get to have conversations with the White House? Conversations or being for Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know about White House. I mean, <laughs> I, I'm at the White House uh, a couple of times. Okay. Uh, two, three times a week. I have conversations every day with someone in the White House or in the administration. Notice his arrogance, too, sitting there like this. Oh, I like it. So, in his own words, he is going to the White House two or three times a week and speaking with someone in the administration every single day. The president hasn't talked to six of his own cabinet members for two years. But Richard Trumka is talking to someone in the White House every day? How is that even possible? What does that even mean? What are they talking about? What is the administration working with the AFL-CIO on?